Hi, welcome. So somebody asked a question about not being able to find the 1N4007 li library file for PSPICE in, in ORCAD. This person is using ORCAD Lite and when they try to simulate the circuit, it gives an error that says the library cannot be found. So while this may or may not work for you if you're using ORCAD Lite, let's try it anyway this is how you would solve the problem in any orcad software really so in your schematic open go to place then choose piece by component and then you would search for the model you want see i here here i did a search for this device already but you would just paste a name in here and then hit enter it will search all the piece by libraries and then find something for you click on it right click choose uh, place you can even view the symbol beforehand if you want but just right click choose place symbol and it gets placed then if you try to place like if you try to do a simulation then it should simulate pretty much for the most part so if we do a P to place a part and then G for ground then you do W for wiring really quickly There you go, another ground to place on here. All right, cool. Then you just have like a three volt source. Maybe there's some kind of drop across the diode. Do a new simulation profile. Really just doesn't need to be transient, but anyway. Do apply, click OK with the default settings, and then run the simulation. Let's see if I get any errors. No, I do not. So, yeah, and we can put the voltage probe, like, uh, let's put a differential probe across here. And we'll see the three volts. Okay, cool. So hopefully that works for you in, if you're using ORCAD Lite. Now, if it still doesn't work, maybe you want to look at the simulation profile. So you would go to PSPICE Edit Simulation Profile. By the way, any icons you see here for PSPICE, you can do the same thing. PSPICE, New Simulation Profile, Edit Simulation Profile, Run, View Simulation Results. So let's go to PSPICE Edit Simulation Profile. Then you go to the configuration libraries, choose library, and make sure you have the non.lib available. Whether it's a global or if it's uh, just added to the design locally. That looks good enough, but just in case, maybe you want to select browse and then look for wherever, whichever library the, the diode would be in. So how do we find that out? You can hover over the device, maybe right click, choose edit properties, and then you can look for the library path. The source library would be under the tools, capture library, piece spice, advanced, advanced LS DI, short for diode.olb. Let's look for that same lib file inside the P spice. So it finds this in here, right? Oh, it's it's in the DI OLB folder. If you go to cadence, SPP underscore your version of the software, then tools, P spice library. If we look for the same library name, DI, we get this di.lib. This is where the one end, this model is hiding, right? Now, good luck if it still doesn't simulate. But anyway, look here, right? If you have this file, you can go back into your piece by simulation profile. So go to capture and go back to your schematic page then go to piece by edit simulation profile, go to your configuration files library, choose browse 
navigate to this pspice folder this library folder here under tools pspice library choose your di dot lib hit open and then add to the design just to make sure that you can simulate it so you have this dot lib file and you have the norm dot lib file click apply then ok and it should allow you to simulate it if it still does not allow you to do that maybe the piece maybe the light version doesn't allow you to do some kind of strange advanced analysis or whatever that this diode might be doing but i i think it will work okay hopefully that helps you and keep on simulating i'll see you in the next video